In this video we will see how to query a Google Sheet directly from App Inventor 2. Use the query language of the Google Visualization API to perform various data manipulations with the request to the data source. Column IDs in spreadsheets are always letters. You must use the ID in your query string. To get started, create a Google Apps Script web application. Do get and do post functions define how a Google Apps Script web app scripts handle GET and post requests from other machines and determine what they return or do. The E argument represents an event parameter that can contain information about any request parameters. The web app requires three things, the spreadsheet file ID, the sheet name, and the Google SQL query string. After the script gets the parameters, it creates a new sheet on the target worksheet and pastes the query into a cell, which generates the output on the sheet. This output is then grabbed by the script and returned as a CSV string. If you don't want the headers when converting to AI2 list, remove the first index item. Now save the file. To complete this part, publish the script as a web application. We are going to use this URL which corresponds to the published version of our application, based on the last version that we registered and deployed. Now let's move on to App Inventor 2. In the design part, add a text box to the interface. This text box will be used to write the request. Then add a Run Query button to launch the execution of the query. Also add a label for display. Finally access connectivity, and add the invisible web component. In the blocks part, create a new block of procedures. Specify the arguments using the block mutation button. App Inventor automatically generates a call block and places it in the procedures drawer. The procedure is called when you click on the Run Query button. The spreadsheet id parameter is used to identify which spreadsheet is to be accessed or altered. This id is the value between the slash d slash and the slash edit in the URL of your spreadsheet. Sheet 1 is the name of the sheet. The text of the query is retrieved from the text box. Now place the URL property in the procedure and specify the URL.
Now call the get method to execute an HTTP GET request using the URL property and get the response. Once the request is complete, the result is displayed in the label.